coming up in a couple of minutes. All right, thanks, Tim. We'll check back with you. Governor Ron DeSantis is suing the U.S. Department of Education. He made a stop in Tampa today, announcing plans to file a lawsuit over the ability to choose how a college or a university can become accredited. ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams breaks down how this could impact our schools and their students. Who holds the power to give a school accreditation? Governor Ron DeSantis is going straight to the courts for that answer. We uh, reject the idea that uh, a totally unaccountable, unappointed, uh, unelected accrediting agency can trump what the state of Florida is doing. The governor is suing the U.S. Department of Education, saying Florida should be able to choose who gets to accredit its schools. These accreditation agencies don't believe that. They believe they know better uh, than the people of Florida. Uh, they believe that Florida should potentially lose uh, student aid. Last year, Florida passed a law requiring colleges and universities to switch accreditors. The federal government released guidance saying that can only happen with their approval. And Florida's law wasn't a strong enough basis to switch. We are the only OECD country in the world that I'm aware of that allows private accrediting bodies to allocate federal uh, Department of Defense funds through grants, loans, work study programs, and other things. F. King Alexander, a professor at Florida Gulf Coast University, adds some context to why accreditation is so important to our higher education. Only accredited schools receive federal funding. And if a school loses accreditation, that can mean a worthless degree on top of no federal financial aid. Congress uh, deferred the decisions of accreditation not to the Department of Education, but to the private accrediting bodies, which many have been around since 1890. Uh, SACS has been around since 1895. The accreditors have set guidelines, and schools are regularly evaluated and determined to fall within the guidelines. Florida schools fall under the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges Accreditation Agency. It's a very thorough process, and they'll have somebody from SACS kind of leading the committee, but they'll also have peers from peer institutions come in to, to review. And one of the, the standards that we have in higher education is that we expect um, most of our professors and faculty in, in various colleges and schools to participate in other schools' accreditation. It's a process that may be permanently changed if Governor DeSantis succeeds in the courts. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.